Reindeer Studios presents Three Dumb Questions! Hey, superstars, welcome to Three Dumb Questions. I'm your host, Scott, and this is the show where there are no dumb answers, only dumb questions, and I'm sure that we will be discussing the nuances of different colored painter's tapes today because I'm here with my good friend, Eddie, from Eddie's Cardboard Chaos. Eddie, how are you? Indeed, and this is totally our first take on the intro. For, totally. For those of you at home. Yep. And yeah, we I'm well. Each other. I'm, I'm glad the tape's going to come up, by the way. That's going to be a, probably a theme throughout, if I know you. You think so, huh? I'll try to hold off as long as I can. We'll see. I promise. But we, we called each other and we coordinated our wardrobes. Cause, Looking sharp. Yeah. yeah. Um, my, this is one of my show shirts. I wear, I have the Ranger Studio shirt, mm -hmm. the Hello Everybody shirt. And then if it's a longer show, then, you know, I start mixing in like Sonics or Mariners or whatever. So All it's right. in the rotation. Okay. So um, you and I, we started our YouTube channels right about the same time. And we um, both started with TTM videos, but um, have since expanded to other things. And we both love vintage and we dabble in modern here and there. And we both have an affinity for our local historically tragic sports franchises. But uh, I think most importantly, we both dislike the, uh, I'll, I'll keep it family friendly here, the New York American League team. Homers, 121 RBIs. So. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are, are brought together by their uh, dislike of the New York American League team. And I'm glad that this isn't the only house, household in which that's a swear word. But um, this the community is so vast, it, it seems like. You have all these great YouTubers that are huge fans of that team. Mm -hmm. And then people like you and I that are, let's say, detractors. And you see that in society. So right. it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful we, thing. We all get along pretty well. We manage. But, you know, we have a, a special bond because we're on that yes. side of the fence. Yes, indeed. And before we get too far, mm -hmm. I wanted to congratulate you on your Hall of Fame uh, big enshrinement. I'm just looking for the right word. Uh, well deserved. I know you keep saying you're like not a, a baseball channel or a sports channel, but that's not true <laughs> because I'm so engrossed in in the culture of the sports card section of YouTube that just by default, that's that's what you are. So Aww. like it or not. Thanks, Eddie. Yeah. I, what exactly I is the that. screening process? So what was that? Well, I appreciate it. Oh, you were saying? Um, I was just going to say, what's the screening process to get on the shows? Because I know you had three people whose names started with D, and I thought, well, you got to be like a D, a D name. And now right. you got me. I'm an E. So is it just like anybody, or does your name have to be in like the first half of the alphabet, or how does that work? Well, Don from Don's Field of Dreams said you're doing all D's, so I'm next, right? And I was like, I don't want to talk to Don. I'd rather talk right. to Eddie, so I just cut it off. Okay, but um, so I still want to so talk to Dylan. And forth. Okay, right. I still want to talk to Dylan, so I'm oh, gonna have yeah. to figure out how to work that in. Man, I'm glad you slipped me in with the D's. Wait a minute. I'm glad you stuck me in with the other people whose names are D. And uh, anyway, I managed to get me in now. So, but that sounds like a great, uh, great lineup. So, yeah. Sure. Um, so back to us. Like uh, one of my favorite things that we've ever done was our our two year giveaway. Do you remember that? Um, is that the one we did with Tony Black? Yeah, it was. Um, and we were like to make some kind of card or have people make cards. Yeah. Right. It was Scott, Eddie, and Tony's two year anniversary brouhaha. Yeah. And then we Absolutely. got together. We encouraged people. We found to the make most it. complicated name that we could. And right. I think we, it worked. We encourage people to make the custom cards. And uh, I think it's just really cool that we were able to collaborate on that. I, I want to see more contests like that where people collaborate. Because um, then, yeah. we, you know, we have um, people that watch our channels that kind of overlap. But um, then you get those those ones that like only watch Eddie or only watch Tony, you know, and I can benefit from that. And it's all about how I can benefit. 
Um, yeah, I noticed that as a theme uh, whenever I'm conversing with you. Right. A little, little self-serving. Sorry, Just I got to call you out. A little bit. I, I cannot imagine there's anyone that watches my channel that does not watch yours. Uh, but, I mean, if if you're crazy enough to think that, that's fine with me. <laughs> we, we got four years coming up, right? Right. I mean, that's pretty much in the toward the end of the first quarter or early April. So Yeah. And Tony's kind of coming out of retirement. Maybe we need to call yeah. him back up. I was a little concerned about that. Uh, yeah. I Just going back to the early days, um, you know, three and a half, four years ago, when I started making content, I just remembered it was always the same four commenters. It was mm -hmm. Brandon Stebbins, Tony mm -hmm. Black, Michael Myers, and some guy named Reindeer Studios. And um, backing up maybe a year before that, I was on Instagram one day and I just typed in Hardy Haddix just to see what was on Instagram. And I saw this cool sketch that someone had, had done and it had like the Long Island's clock in the background and it was kind of a, a zoomed out sketch. Oh, that's really cool. So fast forward to a year, maybe a year and a half ago, did the same thing, typed Harvey Haddix into Instagram. Found that same sketch by <laughs> Reindeer Studios. And there I just go. thought that was really interesting. At least it was for me anyway. You, you like that? I do like that. <laughs> I do like that. Yeah, I know you do these three dumb questions like try to avoid having to do too much editing. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if I just said something random, like you would stick it in anyway, like Foghorn Leghorn. You gotta, I say you gotta keep on your toes. Sure, why not? Steve Martin as the jerk. Okay. Or just random things like that. All right. Now, I don't know. You know I'm to see if you actually did it. I, you know, I, I have to go look for for graphics for that now, right? Yeah. Hey, you should, so, you should be able to find. It. I mean, these are two like high pop culture kind of references. Okay. So. so I either cut those out, spend the time to cut those out, or I spend the time looking for graphics. Or you just chop out where I started rambling, which would make the whole thing like two minutes. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Now <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to say something. Dumber than the dumb questions. Can can that be edited out? Um, no, that I usually keep that in. Okay. If, if I were to say something really dumb, that can go out. But yeah. Well, part of me was thinking. I don't know. Sometimes I get nervous when I don't need to be. And then I remember that I cried my head off on a live stream uh, when Cal <laughs> Raleigh hit a home run to put the Mariners in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. and I cried like a little baby. And over a thousand people have seen that. And I don't think this thing's getting to a thousand because Dustin, his video I checked is at like 200. All right, right. And he thinks he's going to have the best one ever. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But if that's, if I left that up, I've got nothing to be concerned about here. Right. It's, that's my it's all good. All right. Oh, so what were we talking about? <laughs> we we're talking about Foghorn and Leghorn, I guess. We were talking about the early days of YouTube, the similarities mm -hmm. we have, which we do have a lot. We do. Um, I think we have, yeah, uh, uh, ill-fated sports teams, sports mm -hmm. towns, uh, painters tape, and really at the root of it. And I noticed this in the in the card community. At least the channels that I subscribe to and stay subscribed to are people that legitimately love the cards and love the sports and love sharing these things with each other. And that's what makes a good channel in my opinion. And that's why Ranger Studios is in the Hall of Fame, by the way. <laughs> and that's why I had you on the show, because you come on and you say all these nice things about I, me. I thought I was just the first to ask, but whatever works. <laughs> all right. Um, so are you ready for three dumb questions? I'm ready for some dumbness. <laughs> dumbness. We'll see what we can do. All right. Um, so this is how this works. I'm going to ask Eddie uh, three dumb questions, and they don't have to be sports or sports card related. Um, I have given him the questions ahead of time, so he had time to think about it. And we're going to put him on the spot by spinning the wheel of dumb questions for the third question. And then after that, um, he gets to ask me a dumb question. So that should be fun. Um, 
And I just noticed, and we might have to edit this part out, that I don't have the Wheel of Dumb Questions ready yet. So oh, let that me... wheel up. Okay, we didn't edit that out at all. Why all, right. Would we? all right, so dumb question number one. You have talked about your wife, uh, Dr. Cardboard Chaos, which I love that name. Indeed. Uh, it's great on a business card, by the way. <laughs> sounds like a... Um, some sort of evil mastermind. Absolutely, like a, a sports card villain. Right. Oh, we already have that PSA. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, finish your question. You can't, I can't, call her Mrs. No question. can't call her Mrs. Cardboard Chaos because she didn't go to eight, eight years of Cardboard Chaos school. That's true. Mrs., so. That's true. Dr. Cardboard Chaos. Um, yeah, she earned the title. Uh, so this is your wife. Um, so we have Valentine's Day coming up. And I need some ideas. So what are you and Dr. Cardboard Chaos doing for Valentine's Day? I might not be a good one to ask for ideas. Because, like, my theory is once you're married, like, you don't have to keep trying. You know, like, <laughs> I'm done. I got her. What What do I need to get flowers for? She's already my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been married 20. We just had my, our 20. 25 year anniversary. Congratulations. And obviously that's a joke because we wouldn't have gotten to 25 years <laughs> if I had that mindset for real. So this year's really hard because the Valentine's day is in the middle of the week. It's like mm -hmm. Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. And we have spent a lot of our funds putting new window. We're remodeling our house right now. We've got new windows and we've got a floor sitting in our garage. That's my responsibility. So that might be a while. And we, our last invoice came in a little over kind of what we thought it would. So we're kind of doing, we're kind of eating like college students right now. So I'm not entirely sure. I do have um, a gift. I forgot to give her for her birthday. So I can sort of, she doesn't know about it. Uh, the only problem is it's a frying pan. So she doesn't like hmm. it. Bong. It's kind of dangerous. But I'll manage to find a way to get some flowers and maybe have to do like a, some kind of act of service kind of thing okay? Uh, instead of something grand because it's just one of those years. I don't like it when they're in the middle of the week because, we, you know, we both work, of course. Mm -hmm. So wish me luck. Let me know what you come up with. Well, so you're suggesting home renovations. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why not? If that'll go over. Hmm. With Mrs. Studios. I yeah. think she would like that. But I think that would mean less uh, sports cards for me. Yeah. So I'll have to I'll have to chew on that. All right. That works. But not a bad answer. That's you ready for dumb question number two? Not bad. I'm ready. Bring it on. You're just going for not bad? That's my <laughs> image. All right. That's that's fair. Go with show. what works. Find a okay. lane. Go with what works. <laughs> so you are a school teacher. Indeed. Uh, what what grade was it? Was it fourth? Third. 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 Grade. Okay, I was close. Yeah. Um, so let's say I am a third grader in Mister Cardboard Chaos's class, and um, I have a B average. Now, when I was in grade school, um, I was really tough on myself and. I always told myself that A was adequate and B was bad. So I'm not happy with my B grade. Um, so uh, what out of my collection would I have to bribe, I'm, I mean, gift to you to get that A? Hmm. That's a good question. I got C's and D's in school, uh, mostly because I didn't want to show off. Okay. Well, we have um, numbered grades in third grade. Mm -hmm. So one means um, you don't have enough data to grade or uh, the kid's absent too much or they come and they sleep or whatever. Two is below standard. Three is at standard. Four is exceed standard. So you want to go from like a two-ish, three-ish to a four. Okay. Uh, so let me think. I'm thinking back to cards I've seen. I did not go back in history and watch, but from memory – I'm going to do something that's both selfish and is going to help you with this, I think. Okay. So you have a 53 satchel that's at one point was crumpled into a ball, right? And flattened back <laughs> out. 
<laughs> it looks so that I, way. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm taking that so I can say I have a satch and that will inspire you to go get a nicer copy. Ooh. How does that work? I like it. That's All good right. reasoning. Nailed it. And you get your four or your A. Nice. Yeah. Well done, Eddie. And you. and you like made it so it, it wasn't like a total loss for me. Yeah, not yeah. at all. Right. Man of the people, for sure. And you got your you got your four. Hey, I got a new satch card coming in that I haven't shown anybody yet. So I'm pretty Ooh. excited about it. Hey, can't wait to see that. Yeah. But um oh. cool. So it is now time for the Wheel of Dumb Questions, which is the most exciting okay. part of the show because I get to spin this the wheel. This is what I'm most nervous about. I have no prep. Right. I just got to remember what the questions answer. are. All right, All right. Here we go. There it is. And we're going to spin this wheel. And it's spinning, spinning. It's making that noise that you probably can't hear. All right. But as great personality, let's uh, come back to us, and I will figure out what I meant by that. <laughs> Good. All right. What is the, in your opinion, what is the ugliest baseball set besides ninety one Fleer? <laughs> besides ninety one Fleer, the ugliest baseball set besides ninety one Fleer, the one that pops in my mind uh, is called like triple play, I think. And okay. it had like a yellow red border that was like gradiated and the picture was askew. Right, right, right. And you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I think it was triple play something. And it was right. from that era, of course. I think it was 92 or 93. Yeah. And um, that might have been a FLIR product too. FLIR oh, that was a Donruss product. Too. It's not, oh, Donruss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, that's the one that really jumps into my brain as uh, ugliest. I'm sure I could come up with an entire list, but okay, that might be time for another video. How about you? Besides the obvious, the put it in automatically, 91 Fleer. Right. Um, back to you for a second. Now, is nope. there a set you think... We can turn this around on me. It's, I, I like. Oh yeah. You know. Well, I'm, I'm gonna. But um, is there a set that you like that's ugly that has personality? Oh boy, you're gonna have to bring your editing skills in here. <laughs> um, I'll say this: when 2018 tops first came out, mm -hmm. I absolutely hated it because I didn't understand the wave. Okay. And. You know, if you're in Colorado, why is there a wave on your card? And it just didn't work for me. But I think as I started viewing it, not really as a, a wave of water, just a graphic wave, um, I started liking it more and more. And it's got a great checklist because there's a lot, of, a lot mm -hmm. of cool cards in that set. So I'll go with that. That's the best I can do on that one. Okay. I'm sorry, I kind of doubled up on that for you. Yeah, I was. Whoa, I'm reeling here. All right, one of okay, back turn. to me. Um, I think one of my favorite ugly sets would have to be '95 Fleer. I think it is. It's like just way too super busy. It's got all these like layers and different words just randomly inserted about. '95. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was I, my brain was going to eighty five, mm -hmm. and I thought, "Wow, I'm thinking of like that pocket that's so beautiful." I'm like, "What is he talking about?" Okay, I know what you're talking about, and that was the year where they did a different design for each um, division. I think correct. Yeah. So, so like uh, the Twins and the Indians are going to have like the same thing, and the New York American League team would have a different design, mm -hmm. and on and on. Um, yeah, was, yeah, because so nineties. Really yeah. And that was when there was two divisions in each league. So I guess four designs. Yeah, but right. yeah, they were trying probably a little too hard, which is kind of a theme of 90s, not just sports card, but everything, I think. <laughs> yeah, we made it. 
We did it. I don't know. I mean, okay. so that was a great dry run. So go ahead, hit record. So we'll do this thing for real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm doing. No, I don't know now. that we're going to catch. I'm going to catch catch Dustin because he's got like a four week head start on me. But if it gets more views than one of my videos, thirteen, mm -hmm. I think I think I will call it a success. Okay, but you still have to ask me a dumb question. Oh yeah, I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> okay, well this is dumb, right? It's dumbness right. though. And I I like the I like this concept because you can do whatever you want. You're like, well, it's supposed to be dumb, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, here we go. I told you the tape thing would come up again. Here we are. And I I held off. You you held off because mm -hmm. you knew it was part of this. And okay. just as I got the first two questions from you. I gave you this one so you could prepare just a brilliant, perfect, dumb answer. You are given from a beloved card community member a 49 Bowman satchel page that's really beautiful. Across the top, blue tape mm -hmm. that says, this card is yours to keep forever as long as you leave the blue tape on the top loader on the case it's in a nice it's in a nice case and that mm -hmm. blue makes it that blue painters tape makes it even nicer uh you keep it you send it back what is you got a work around that i didn't think of what what do you got here <laughs> all right so um it would be very awkward to get a gift like that for sh for sure so right. like getting beyond that do you remember how the tape color war got started i know um i kept getting things in the mail that had blue or i would send something off and i would write official tape of eddie's eddie's baseball autographs because that was my original name mm -hmm. things like that and it just sort of became like its own meme for my channel and then out of nowhere scott starts this <laughs> green is better thing <laughs> and we went down this rabbit hole here we are two and a half years three years later mm -hmm. that's what i remember that's my version okay so you were singing the praises of blue tape uh over yeah, scotch true. tape which is very admirable um one day michael myers was doing a mail day video and he got a card and it was properly packaged with the blue tape and he called it eddie approved blue tape and I, being the difficult person that I am, I took objection to not getting all the attention that I felt I deserve. So like I started yeah. pushing Scott approved green tape. And um, that's how it all started. But what we've really done in the grand scheme of things is brought on um, the, we brought to light the importance of not using scotch tape on top loaders. And I'm very proud of that, that we did that together, even though we're on different sides of the same thing. You know, we did this together. So that being said, if someone were to gift me a 49 satchel page with that caveat, I would be more than honored to leave the blue tape on there. Good answer. Two thoughts. That would be a, an awkward gift to give somebody because it, be. it's just yeah. it would be too, it would be almost too much mm -hmm. and it would be like sort of uncomfortable and my other thought is and to bring this full circle i like what you were saying about really it's these two tapes sort of rallying against scotch tape and mm -hmm. we're raising awareness and just to bring that back to the early part of our conversation you're a guardians fan i'm a mariners fan as long as neither of us are fans of the New York American League team, we're okay. Is that a fair similarity, you think? Full circle. I like that. Boom. Right there. We High five, it. Eddie. High five. I was earlier. Never mind. I stole that from another interview show I watched today. So, How is Sally Jesse Raphael doing? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I was... Yeah, <laughs> Um, anyway, we did it. Yeah. Now we can start to conclude this thing, wrap this up. Now you got all your editing to do and mm -hmm. me just ramming it, you know, yelling out random things. Mm -hmm. Foghorn, like what I do. 
yeah, so we'll definitely think of something for four years. Um, I think there was a couple of years that I did giveaways for anniversary that weren't with you or Tony or whatever. That's when I did the um, inspirational stories one that I just used for my Eddie Gives Back. Right. So I can't use that one again anyway since it's only a couple months and I, I just did one. I, so I wanted to it. do one. I had two different stories lined up for that, but I was just too busy at that time. Yeah. And I apologize again for not doing that for you. And and then I voted for you for the Hall of Fame. I know. So I'm very forgiving if we've learned one thing. Uh, I appreciate and, it. Yeah, it's cool. All right. <laughs> no, I mean, I figured. I know my people have lives and mm-hmm. I'm never going to take it personal like, oh, so-and-so didn't make a, a video because when, when YouTube – stops being fun then then i stop doing it so i'm gonna if something is bothering me i get far away from it if there's a channel that's popping up on my on my feed that's very negative i i do whatever i can to the algorithm to get it off there because this is my hobby it's supposed to make me happy and i don't know where i was going with this <laughs> I'm here to enjoy myself and not for a minute did I think oh Scott doesn't like me enough to do a to do a video I mean for Craig he's, I've got I got my own shirt and I think <laughs> and correct me if I'm wrong but was I the first one to be honored to get to get my own shirt hmm there was a time in your monthly recap there was a time that I was going to try to do a, a new shirt for each monthly recap Right. But that quickly became too much work. Yeah. But I. Yeah, I know there's a Eddie shirt. There's an egg shirt, right? Mm-hmm. And what else? Um, there's a four leaf shirt. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I think that might be it. Yeah. That seems, that seems too ambitious. I, I had others planned and it just. Yeah. That's a lot well, of work. You're totally forgiven. Everyone loves you anyway, so don't worry yeah. about that. But another quick story, just as almost <laughs> as cool as the Harvey Haddock's one, but the backstory okay. behind the shirt, you know, you're doing that monthly recap, and I just, I'm seeing your shirt, the one you're wearing now, this one, and I'm like, mm-hmm. am I seeing that right? Like, you didn't tell me you were doing it. And <laughs> I'm just, I think I mentioned it in the comments, and it was just sort of like, huh, and no one else really said anything about it. I mean, it wasn't of them. Maybe that's why. Mm-hmm. And I thought I had sent like an email, like, "Hey, what do I need to do to get one of those?" And then maybe I didn't. But you know, months and months and months passed, and I mentioned it again, and you said something like, "Yeah, I asked you about it, but <laughs> you never said anything." So we had emails that got missed or something. I'm something like, like that. Yeah, give me one. So I got this, and then of course I got the reindeer shirt. And uh, anyway, like I said, it's in the show rotation for when I when I go. I am going to miss the national this year. I just found out we just we had too much with this remodel, too much stuff going on. But well, I you, said you will be missed. I, I told her 2024 is in Cleveland. Hello, Cleveland. Hello, Cleveland. And so I got to go to see Scott, and I do want to see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Cool. So if Cleveland hasn't been burned to the ground yet by then. You'll see me in 2024. I will do my best to keep it from burning keep to the ground. Burn on, big river. Burn on. And everybody's okay. staying at my house for that. Right, right so on. If, if you're watching, just hit me up and you're staying at my house. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> uh, I got something in the mail this week that made me think of you. Oh, nice index card. Beautiful. And I can authentic- authenticate that. That is a real Harvey Haddock's autograph. All right. I've seen enough of them. I can pretty much do it like this. Harvey Haddock's, Alvin Davis, Ray Labanez. I know their autographs. <laughs> quarter of a second. People aren't faking those people anyway. Right. So, yeah. We have gone completely off the rails, but it has been a lot of fun. And do. Eddie, you're always one of my favorite people to talk to. And uh, so I want to thank you for being here and being a good sport. And thank you guys out there in YouTube land for watching and be good. 
And I mean, that was kind of a lame send off. I I've always liked your your send off, Eddie. Can can you do that for me? Would you do that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thanks for watching this episode of Three Dumb Questions. And until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends. Nice. And I don't count subscribers. I count best friends. Ooh. See where I took that? Uh, 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 uh. You got me thinking <laughs> now. All right. Take it easy. And uh, good night, everybody. All right. For real.